good morning welcome back to another vlog another video it is monday it's um, almost 11 i woke up at 8 30 with my alarm i had a little of trouble getting awake but i've been working since nine and i'm still in my pajamas because i really want to get as much work done as possible so i thought i would start a little bit earlier and then shower and get ready um after i eat see you later so i just had lunch and i'm just going to have a shower afterwards i need to do some housework and then i'm going to be filming some videos later okay so i'm showered and dressed i washed my hair it feels really nice and soft i'm going to go and iron for a little bit hey so i just finished filming three videos so i have to film another one tomorrow and then i'm set for pretty much like two weeks of videos which is great and now it's time to rest in my schedule so i'm going to put on an audiobook and chill out by coloring hello good morning it is tuesday now i don't know if i vlogged anymore yesterday i don't think i did i forgot so i woke up with an etsy order placed by my friend do i already have that ready to go and i'm hoping to get a ride into town so i don't have to walk there and walk back and so that i can save a little bit of time stop by the library as always my granddad called me yesterday um he doesn't call me very much i don't call him very much either because i tend to forget and i only ever remember like at really awkward times he was telling me about his adventures with like physiotherapy and his he does a uh, dialysis for his kidney failure so he was telling me about that i don't know it was nice to hear his voice and talk to him i'm gonna go and do this i'm like hurry up now and i will see you later So I just got home. It's pretty hot, but it wasn't too, too bad. I got my results, my test results uh, from my blood work on the way home and everything is negative, which I guess is a good thing. I don't know. It's kind of frustrating because I got my MRI results today as well. And those are negative as well. Like everything is normal and fine. And I guess that's a good thing. I'm happy that I don't have, you know, anything more severe, but also like, what the hell <laughs> you know what i mean like there's clearly i don't know is there something wrong is this just fibro being fibro and maybe i just have like those symptoms are just worse than other people's i don't want to hear another doctor tell me that there's nothing more that they can do and that this is just what it is and i have to just doing it i don't know i don't know i did go to the library the books that i brought from the library the first one is this one and this is called When Friendship Followed Me Home by Paul Griffin. And apparently it's a story about this boy who's an orphan who has been hopping around from like foster family to foster family and he finds a dog and he keeps it. And then through the dog, he makes a friendship with another person, a girl, and she convinces him to write a novel with her. Yeah, and then it's like the I guess ups and downs of them writing the novel together and it says that it's a story about friendship and family. I brought a lot of books to read on vacation because I don't want to be reading my the ones on my bookshelves. I'm saving those for when for the readathon in August. Um, then I brought this one which is called When You Were Here by Daisy Whitney. That's what it looks like. I don't really like this cover. And this says that it's for fans of The Fault in Our Stars. I read that a long time ago, but I did enjoy it. And it says Danny's mom lost the battle to cancer five years ago. And then a letter from a friend of his mom in Tokyo makes him drop everything and travel to the other side of the world to discover her mom, his mom's secret. It's set in Tokyo, so I think that would be really fun because I really want to go to Tokyo. This one which is a little thick and this i've read another book by this author and i started reading another one but i didn't finish and this is called the rose petal beach 
by Dorothy Coomson. And apparently this is about a woman whose husband is accused of something unbelievable. And all of a sudden, everything that she believes in doesn't seem to have any value. She doesn't know who to trust. And then a stranger arrives in town to throw rose petals in the sea um, in memory of somebody who they lost. And this woman has a, carries with her a lot of shocking truths that will transform everybody's lives, including our main character. Then I got this one, which is called Akita, and this is called The Highway. I wonder if that's, what's the original title? It's set in Japan as well, and it apparently there's a new type of bomb that explodes, and it settle it like triggers a third world war and 38 years later the world starts to compose itself again but it looked good we'll see also got this one which is call me by your name i've seen this everywhere apparently these were some new books that they had in because i'm the first person to take it out that's it that's my library haul I'm still reading The Paper Conspiracy, The Conspiracy of Paper, whatever it's called, by David Liss. I am enjoying it. It makes me laugh, but also um, there's like a lot of intrigue. Now it's 12.15 and I need to do some work. So I'm going to go and work for a bit and I'll see you later. So I've got a bowl of popcorn. Uh -uh. I really wanted a snack and I really wanted something salty, but also like carby. I filmed the video and now I'm about to start editing pretty much the next two weeks worth of videos. I will not finish doing that today, but I like being ahead of schedule with things. Let's do some editing. Hello, good morning. It's 10 a.m. I've showered, I got dressed. I'm wearing this t-shirt with a fun little cactus on it and it says, wanna hug? So I'm really tired today. I had a, a hard time getting out of bed and I feel like, uh, you know? But I'm working right now. I'm gonna keep trying to, you know, work as hard as I can. Take my rest breaks properly because I didn't do that yesterday. So I finished work. I did a little bit extra. I was trying to, I basically finished at like 10.30, like my minimum. But I was like, no, I'm going to keep going. And everything was just like, not complicated, but I feel so tired and so foggy that it was just taking so long. And I did do a little bit extra, but like, if it was a good day, I would have killed it. But it's not, so <laughs> it's fine. So it's like 12 now, like a few minutes before 12. So instead of like forcing myself to work and stuff, I'm going to go and have a nap now and like rest for a bit and then try to see if I feel better in the afternoon. If not, I'll nap again or like rest. I think I'm gonna put on an audiobook and listen to that and chill out. Hey, I just woke up from my nap. I feel really groggy. Actually, I woke up like 10, 15 minutes ago. I feel really, really groggy and like out of breath and tired still. I'm making myself some lunch because I'm hungry. I think it'll help me like, I don't know, wake up or figure out if I feel better or not. And I think I'm just gonna lay down on the sofa and watch some YouTube right now. Hello, I look like a hot mess. Four in the afternoon now. I've been resting. It's very, very hot today and I feel kind of stuffy. I don't know if I'm stuffy or not, but I have like a very strong headache brewing. So I just took some painkillers for that. And now it's time to do some editing. Hello. It's, I don't know what day it is. Thursday. Jesus Christ. I look like a mess <laughs> and I feel like a mess too. I have been awake since like 4.30. It's now 10. I did go to bed quite early yesterday because I had a migraine starting to become more prominent. I didn't go to my last water aerobics class of like until next September. It's fine, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I didn't go. So I ended up going to bed at like 9.30. I didn't go to sleep until probably like 11, I don't know. 
I was listening to Dumplin' on audiobook for like an hour. I just woke up and I just could not fall back asleep. And I was starting to be in a lot of pain, like physically. So I thought, better get up. I always stay in bed for like a good, in situations like that, either it's like already eight or 7.30 or something. And I'm like, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter if I don't sleep anymore right now. But when it's like 4, 3 a.m. and I can't sleep, it's like, yeah, I, I'd like to go back to sleep, actually. Um, so I normally stay in bed for like 30 to 45 minutes to see if I can fall back asleep. And if I can't, then I get up and go do something. So basically, I was working on a little spreadsheet that I got from, I can't remember, YouTube channel, somebody's YouTube channel, which is supposed to help like track uh my reading and also like my purchases and like how much i want to spend for each like each month on books and how much i'm saving like how much i like the listing is for a book and how much i actually paid for it i can track like where i buy my books from genres uh like all kinds of stuff it's really cool actually it doesn't have to be just purchases it can also be like books that i get from the library and then it has like a place where you can set the date like the due date and if you have returned it and if you have it and then it tells you like how many library books you've read like there's just so much data that you can extract from there and I started doing it yesterday and basically I was doing that from like 5 30 to now but today I have a weird day ahead of me because I'm really tired I'm not very sleepy but I'm quite tired I'm in a little bit of pain and I feel very like <laughs> <laughs> which means groggy. I'm going away tomorrow to visit my family. Uh, and honestly, like, I do not feel like working in the least. I really need to clean my makeup brushes because I'm getting, like, a lot of breakouts. And I think, like, I have not washed my makeup brushes for too long to admit. And I really need to do that. I think I'm going to just do my other things and then come back to work if I have time. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock. I have worked enough to get myself to a better, more comfortable payment this week, which is great. So I didn't work very long, it was just a little bit. I cleaned my keyboard. It's all nice and white again. And I'm gonna have some food now. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I think I should eat lunch, but I don't have anything like pre-made. So I think I'm just gonna eat cereal. Cause today I'm gonna be all like out of sorts anyway. Cause I woke up at 5 a.m. I just took a picture of myself when I was trying to film myself. So that's how my day's going. <laughs> I'm still in my pajamas. It's like two, no, 1.30, I don't know, around there. I've been, I actually folded some laundry, so yay me. I've been watching some YouTube. I'm pooped, but I don't feel like sleepy. I just feel exhausted. I'm gonna go read this for like half an hour and then I'm going to try and pack. I feel like I'm such a hot mess today. I read like five pages. This is historical fiction and it's set in 1719. So the language is not super easy, but I am enjoying this book. It's getting a little bit confusing though because I have like a huge scab at the back of my head and I don't know if it's like, a scab scab or if it's like a one of my hair scabs that show up for no reason anyway little detour um what was i talking about right i want to know who killed his dad and like if his dad was murdered or if it was just an accident it seems to be a lot of intrigue i am enjoying it but it's a little, it's like slow going hey so it's like 3 30 almost 4 i'm making some pasta got the air conditioning on i've packed I haven't like put it in the suitcase, but everything's ready except like the few things that I'm still gonna use. Hey, good morning. It's very dark because it's not yet seven o'clock in the morning. I kind of dropped off the map yesterday because I was super tired going on my train at 8.20. So we're about to leave soon. I just need to have some breakfast. So yeah. <music>
so as you can see I am tired as all hell but what have we done today um, so I got here my mom was really surprised my mom was really surprised and she was really happy so that was good we went to a beach we were on the beach for a little bit a little bit then we had lunch which was delicious then we went on to the beach for a little bit longer I went in the sea it was great it was very cold but it was good and what else then we came home and I had a quick shower and a little re reconnection with my dog which was great and then um, now we've gone to the we went to this grocery store to buy some things um, I'm really tired my legs really hurt and I'm just tired um, and now my mom's just gone into the bakery to get her birthday cake and then we shall go home she still has no idea that my sister is coming which is great um, so we're gonna go pick her up later today um, but yeah now when we get home I'm going to go and chill out rest so this is my current situation I'm editing in bed whilst I have got my little puppy with me having a little nap I wish I had this all the time So it's half past midnight now. This is my current situation. I had dinner and then we had to tell my mom that my sister was coming that we had to go and get her. And she was so surprised. She was like, what? You're joking, what? And yeah, so we went and got her and then we came back, had cake and we been chatting. I'm so tired. I think I fell asleep like three times on my chair. And now me and little Zeus are having a little cuddle. And tomorrow we're going to the beach. Yay. Hello, good morning. It's eight o'clock. I basically just woke up. My air conditioning turned off, so I was very, very hot. Um, but I couldn't go back to sleep, and anyway, we're leaving for the beach at like 9, so... I was having this really weird pain last night, um, uh, in one of my trigger points, you know, the one over your butt? That one? Um, like, it was really painful and, like, pulsing pain, but it went away, so I don't know. But now my right leg is super painful when I, like, stretch it. So if it's full, if it's like bended, my knee is bended, it doesn't hurt very much. But when I stretch my knee, it hurts all, like the whole thing from the top of my leg all the way down hurts. So I guess who's using a mobility aid today again? It's fine. Normally when I come up down here, I end up using my mobility aid like every single day because I don't rest enough. My little Zeus slept with me the whole night. He hasn't asked to leave the bedroom yet, which is good. But I did have to sleep in a tiny corner of the bed because he basically took up the rest of the space as well as like the too many pillows that I have. I'm going to be sitting and reading for like 15 minutes now just to like wake up and have a little moment for myself. And then I shall be getting dressed and breakfasting. But right now I still have like quite blurry vision.
Hello. So, today's been a long and busy one. So, I said last time I checked in, it was like a so we've been out pretty much all day. So we went to the market. My mom had to buy some stuff. And me and my sister went to the charity shop to buy books, which I got a lot of. But I'm going to do a haul, like, of everything. Because I got a few things. I'm still going shopping tomorrow, so, yeah. So that, I bought, like, nine books for three euros, which was great. Uh, yeah, so I got that and then we went to we found out that the charity shops closing which is kind of sad, but That's life I guess and then we went to a town really close to Spain Where we went to the flea market. We were looking around. I got some um, Bowls and things they had really nice things there and my parents also sell in markets like that like antique antique markets and flea markets and things like that so they know everyone, so we were like talking to everyone and stuff. And it was nice, but I was really tired. And then what else did we do after that? Then we went to Spain, we had lunch, the little tapas cafe, it was really, really good. The food, I ate so much. And then we had ice cream afterwards, which was lovely, but I was so stuffed afterwards. In the morning it was kind of rainy and like cloudy and cold. And then the sky opened up, like the weather opened up and it was getting hot then. So then we went to the uh, supermarket store in Spain to get some things, like we I, last time I was here. And then we went to the beach, came back to Portugal to go to the beach, um, obviously. And it was really lovely, it was quite windy, but the seawater was really nice. And yeah, I read for quite a bit, and then it was getting really, really windy. So we came home and now I've just been sitting by the pool with my sister, like dipping our toes and chatting. And now I'm gonna shower and we're gonna have some snacks and like some like, tapas-ish uh, dinner. That's it. And then tomorrow we have more things, I guess, to more adventures to go on. I think we're going to the beach again. Hello, good morning. It is 8 a.m. I slept so well last night. I went to bed at like 10 and maybe 10.30, I don't know. Um, and I just like went straight to sleep and I don't know if I didn't move pretty much all night, but I know that I went to sleep in one position and I woke up in the exact same position, so I'm guessing no. I'm going to go into the living room where I have an internet connection because I don't even have phone signal in my room. Um, so I'm going to go into the living room to get some Wi-Fi and, you know, check because I have a bunch of, I know I have a bunch of notifications for sure. And to add some things to my book spreadsheet, add my, like, books to my book spreadsheet. because uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm so excited about that. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go and do that and then, you know, have breakfast, get ready, whatever. But I'm just going to go do that now while it's silent. Hey, I just woke up from a nap. We went to the beach today, but I feel like everybody's energy was kind of different, and it wasn't, I wasn't, I don't know. We had to go by the market to get to the beach, so it took forever. I actually got a couple of um, Studio Ghibli DVDs for really cheap, so I was happy about that. We're at the beach for a while, we then had lunch. It was a super noisy restaurant. I was feeling really, really unwell. And I've been, I don't know if I've slept throughout the whole time, but I've been just resting and like having a bit of a nap. So, yeah. Hello. So it is half past midnight and I just got in bed. I'm a little bit sunburned, a few places on my chest and very much on the top of my feet. I didn't really film very much today cause I was really, really tired and yeah, it's just like I used all my spoons and I was in a terrible mood because obviously I used all my spoons. I wanted us to go to like a certain beach and then my dad was like, we don't have time now. And it was kind of frustrating because the whole, the reason we took so long in the market, yeah, sure, we were seeing, looking through stuff, but a lot of it was them talking to their friends and like colleagues 
who also work at the market and like flea market antique market whatever and then we were at the beach but it was really windy and then we went to have lunch at this restaurant but we walked there and it was really far I don't think it would have been that far for like a normal person but it was really far for me and I was so beyond exhausted by the time we got there and it was so loud and there was just so much stuff going on that I felt absolutely terrible and I didn't even I know it sounds silly and like if you say this to somebody they're like why didn't you say something or why didn't you like push them and say no and that you were past your limit like I genuinely was too tired to talk like I did not have in my mind like I was just trying to survive long enough to get home like I wasn't thinking anything else I was just so angry and frustrated and like fed up and tired that I didn't even have the energy to talk about it or anything and then it really annoyed me because in the car my dad was like oh I realized that once we sat down that it was going to be too much for Olga but I didn't say anything because it was too late and I was like we could have left I don't understand why would you say that afterwards like fair enough if it didn't even occur to you like I think that's not great but sure fine fair enough but if it occurred to you and you didn't say anything and you didn't ask if I was okay and it was obvious that I wasn't because I was so tired, why wouldn't we just leave and eat something at home like so I could rest? You know what I mean? I slept for like two hours or maybe, yeah, around two hours. But then I showered and we went to the mall to buy some things that I needed and I made a haul video just now. Every time I come here, I just use way too much energy that I don't have. And I have other plans this week that I need to see through and that are important to me. Like, I'm going on holiday with my boyfriend and I actually want to enjoy that. So, yeah, it'd be nice for me to just rest for a bit. So I'm going to call it, sit it out tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to go. And because today is Sunday, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on another week. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like and a comment and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have not done that already, it would mean so much to me. You can also consider becoming a member on Patreon and maybe shopping my Etsy store. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.